defendant please rise. Mr. Ray, I'm considering your cooperation after your guilty plea. This court sentences you to 12 years. Are you blaming this on your predecessors? Well, this department has had four commissioners over the last eight years, so there hasn't been continuity in leadership here. Mr. Gondo, due to your cooperation after your guilty plea, the court sentences you to 10 years. All rise. This is happening now on my watch, and I am taking responsibility as the police commissioner. Mr. Ward and Mr. Hendricks, having pled guilty and subsequently cooperated by agreeing to testify against other officers, this court sentences you each to seven years. I have moved to end plainclothes policing, and we've undertaken a plan to track the quality of gun cases to see how they fare in court, rather than just tallying stats. We are already responding. Mr. Allers, you have been found guilty, and since you've refused to cooperate, the court sentences you to 15 years. But federal investigators say this has been going on for years. Uh, shouldn't the leadership of the police department have known? Well, Justin, speaking for myself and my team, we inherited a culture that looks at accountability as a four-letter word. And that's years and years of neglect. Years and years of chasing after the two H's, homicide and heroin. Should someone have known about this kind of corruption? Absolutely. They should have known. They should have known? We should have known. Crime is spilling out all over the city, and we've got to focus. And while we are grateful for the efforts of Commissioner Davis and his team, we need to move forward in a new direction. Commissioner Daryl D'Souza. Change is coming to the Baltimore Police Department. And let me make it clear, I have zero tolerance for corruption. <laughs> We're going to be doing proactive constitutional policing. We're going to enforce the laws of Baltimore City. We're going to be very visible. We're going to have positive engagement with the entire community. Your Honor. As a point of law, it's Mr. Herschel's contention that he is not guilty of the charge of extortion for taking money from citizens subsequent to their arrest. No. He was responsibly taking that money as an agent of the state, Your Honor. His crime is instead that of failing to deliver that money to the evidence control unit. Therefore, he is guilty only of theft, not of extortion or conspiracy. Novel defense, Mr. Purpura. 